Hi, it's Katrina. From the enormous fish that swallows people whole to the biggest snake ever discovered, here are 10 terrifying monsters of the Amazon River. Number 10. Mata Mata Turtle While you might not initially think of a turtle as being a giant monster, just take a look at this big guy. The Mata Mata Turtle is a seriously strange reptile. It almost doesn't even look like a turtle. It has a rough and knobby carapace or shell with what look like large cones coming out of it. It has a very long neck with a flat head that almost looks like a leaf. Its long, pointy snout allows it to snorkel while hiding beneath the surface, so they are actually quite hard to spot. This isn't the type of monster that can kill you, but you probably wouldn't want to stick your fingers anywhere near its mouth. It's definitely the largest turtle in the rivers of the Amazon, and it can grow to be about 2 feet long and weigh about 38 pounds. And while that's a far cry from the 10-foot turtles that once roamed South America millions of years ago, it's still about the average weight of a 4-year-old child. These turtles are very good at camouflaging themselves, hiding in the leaf litter at the bottom of shallow streams. Here, they wait for prey to come by, then open their mouth, creating a vacuum and sucking it right up. Have you ever seen this turtle before? Let me know in the comments below! Number 9. Giant Stingray The giant freshwater stingray can be found in many freshwater rivers in the Amazon River system. It's a short-tailed stingray that can weigh up to 280 pounds and are responsible for more injuries to humans every year than any other Amazonian species. In Colombia alone, over 2,000 injuries are reported every year. If you need an example of just how powerful these giant stingrays can be, take Jeremy Wade for instance. The extremely famous angler from the Discovery Channel TV show River Monsters said that catching the giant stingray was one of the most exhausting and dangerous catches of his entire career. I loved that show, have you seen it? Let me know in the comments below! According to the Daily Mail, it took Jeremy four hours just to pull the stingray out of the water. That's because the animal acts like a giant suction cup jamming itself into the sand and mud at the bottom of the river, acting like a dead weight. He said, this is the largest true freshwater fish that I have ever caught. While these animals are not aggressive, the reason this giant is so dangerous is because it's been known to kill people with its barb, which is lethal if it stabs you because it's venomous. The problem is that people will step on them accidentally and get injected. It is extremely painful with symptoms including nausea, vomiting, seizures, and a deep ulcer that develops slowly. The actual wound can easily get infected and hurts like crazy. There is no antidote or treatment for the freshwater stingray venom. Number 8. Kandiru Out of all of the feared creatures of the Amazon River, the tiny Kandiru is surrounded by scary stories. This fish is terrifying and feared for a very good reason even if it's not as big or as heavy as a giant stingray. It became known to science at the beginning of the 19th century, and since then it has occupied a very dark place in everyone's imagination who ventures into the Amazon. The reason for this is that it can allegedly lodge itself inside the human penis with sharp barbs and then eat the organ from the inside out. Obviously, this is not something that any man is eager to have happen. The fish has been discussed a lot in pop culture, including in the book Fight Club and in the TV show Grey's Anatomy. But is it actually true? Can a fish really hook into a person's urethra and then lay eggs or eat them from the inside out? Unfortunately, scientists aren't really sure. Local communities tell stories of fish that could inflict the most excruciating pain you could ever imagine. These fish were more feared than piranhas. And for over 100 years, it was rumored that you shouldn't pee in the Amazon or this tiny fish would take advantage and swim inside. Scientists do know that if the fish were to do such a thing, it would mean certain death. The urethra is only about the size of its body, and it would surely die inside of such a small space, also killing the human. Steven Spot is the only person dedicated to getting to the bottom of the candy room myth by going to the area in person and interviewing people. In fact, there has only been one official report of a Kandiru attack on a person's genitals, and even that was questionable. According to the BBC, a man in 1997 got one of these monsters stuck in his urethra and required surgery to get it out, but it looked like an entirely different creature, and Spot is not quite convinced. 
What do you think? Do you think this is real? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe if you are new here. We have lots of videos coming up. Number seven, the Arapaima. Moving on to a much larger fish, the Arapaima is a very real river monster. It's a massive fish that can grow to be 440 pounds. Smithsonian's National Zoo says that it is possibly the largest freshwater fish in the entire world. It's also one of the only fish that is able to breathe air. The Arapaima can survive for at least 24 hours outside of the water. And while this beast of a fish doesn't have sharp teeth or a proclivity for eating humans, it is so big and so powerful that it could easily headbutt you in the chest and give you a heart attack. I'm just kidding, it probably won't do that. The Arapaima is native to the streams of the Amazon River and usually eats other fish, but will also eat things near the water's surface like insects, birds, and even mammals. They will open their mouths quickly, creating a vacuum and sucking in their prey before they even know what hits them. They will also use short bursts of speed to jump out of the water and actually grab birds and even small primates from low-hanging branches. These tough fish reproduce quickly and have been hunted for years as food. Number six. Electric eels. These snake-like critters are the most electric animals in the world, and definitely something to be wary of if you find yourself taking a dip in any Amazonian river. The species was first described in 1766, but a new paper published in Nature Communications has revealed that there are actually three different species, with one of the newest species discovered able to output around 860 volts of electricity. Until now, the highest output reported of an electric eel was between 550 and 650 volts. Electric eels can also grow to about 6 feet 6 inches in length. Despite their name, they are actually not even eels at all. They are a member of the knifefish family, who use this super shock power to stun prey and predators alike. To learn more, be sure to check out the National Geographic TV show Monster Fish with Zeb Hogan. A popular belief is that the bigger the eel, the stronger the voltage, but they actually have the highest voltage when they are younger, and then it levels off. Still, don't touch one. Number 5. The Piraiba Catfish The Piraiba Catfish is one of the largest catfish in the world. Also known as the Goliath Catfish, these fish can grow to be 12 feet long and weigh around 400 pounds. They've also been labeled as man-eating monsters. This is because in the parts of the jungle where this fish is found, locals claim the biggest among them are able to swallow men whole. While there haven't actually been any confirmed reports of this happening, it is rumored that the catfish can open its mouth and create such a powerful vacuum that it can slurp an entire person into its belly. And this does make sense when you consider its size. Jeremy Wade on River Monsters has investigated several disappearances and people drowning in rivers that may have been attributed to catfish. In the 1990s, three men were fishing in the Amazon when their net got caught on a rock. One went down to untangle it, and the next thing they knew, he was gone. After a few hours searching for him, a huge catfish came to the surface, thrashing around with the fisherman's legs sticking out of its mouth. The men went out and hit it with clubs until they could get it in the boat and took it to the police station with their friend still inside. They thought there was no way people would believe that this had really happened unless they brought proof. It seems more likely that they wanted him to disappear or something. This story was confirmed on the TV show where Wade interviewed the police and the fishermen. The catfish was 8 feet long and weighed 350 pounds. Its dual hinged mouth allowed it to open up to 2 feet across, swallowing the man whole. This catfish doesn't just sit around waiting for food. It is an active hunter that only needs about 30 pounds of force to pull a person underwater. Number 4. The Giant Anaconda The green anaconda is certainly one of the most powerful creatures that lives in the Amazon. An anaconda can grow to be roughly 30 feet long, but are usually about 17 feet, which is also not too shabby. Pound for pound, they are the largest snake in the world. While the reticulated python might be the longest, the green anaconda can be twice as heavy. They can grow so big, they can eat pretty much anything they can find, including crocodiles, deer, and even jaguars. No problem. Anacondas will constrict their prey until it asphyxiates and then swallow the whole thing. Once they've had a big meal, they can go months without food. 
There are legends of giant snakes dragging off children and pets in the night. These animals often appear in myths as magical or spiritual beings and sometimes as vicious human eaters. For a documentary called Secret Brazil, scientists and explorers are now tracking these enormous snakes, swimming with them and following them on land. On one encounter, they spotted and filmed a 25-footer in a clear stream, possibly the largest anaconda ever filmed. While they have a bad and scary reputation, they are very sensitive to noise and movement, and if they've already eaten, you won't be on the menu. Other scuba divers have also decided to brave swimming with anacondas, getting up close and personal. They repeatedly push the cameras near its face, and the anaconda shows endless patience. Scientists watching say that they are lucky it didn't turn on them, but instead it seemed entirely indifferent. Number 3. Bull Shark Probably the last thing you expect to find lurking through the Amazon is a shark, but I'm here to tell you that there are sharks lurking within the muddy fresh waters of the Amazon. It's not your average shark either. These are bull sharks, which are some of the most dangerous sharks in the world, known for being large, territorial, and vicious. They are not picky eaters and will eat just about anything, and they like to swim where we swim. Bull sharks are large sharks with an average weight of about 500 pounds and length of about 7 to 11 and a half feet. They are some of the only creatures on Earth that are able to survive in both salt water and fresh water, and will attack people inadvertently or just out of curiosity while they're standing or fishing in the river. If you are ever in a calm river inlet, I imagine the last thing you expect to happen would be to get attacked by a shark. And even if you are in the US, don't feel too comfortable and safe either, because they have also been seen in the Mississippi River. Females will go to freshwater environments to give birth to their pups, since shallow water will give them a better chance at survival. They will migrate up and down the river seasonally, and have even been reported some 2,485 miles from the shore. Number 2. Ancient Crocodile The most ferocious crocodilians living in the rivers of the Amazon today are the Black Caimans. They are smaller than saltwater crocodiles, but they are equally as vicious. They can grow to be 20 feet long and don't have a problem biting you in half with their powerful jaws. While they might not be the most aggressive member of the crocodilian family, you shouldn't get too close to one either. They can be very territorial and have no real predators. However, there was once a much larger crocodile found in the Amazon. Recent fossilized remains discovered by Peruvian scientists have revealed a 46-foot crocodile that once lived deep in the rainforest. According to the discovery team, the creature would have weighed at least 9 tons. But don't worry, this was 13 million years ago, when the Amazon was more of an inland swamp than a jungle. All you have to contend with now are the 20-foot black caimans lurking in the shallows. Number 1. Giant River Otters The giant river otter might be adorable and definitely doesn't look like a monster. However, don't let that innocent look fool you. The giant river otters of the Amazon have to be strong and ferocious to survive caimans and anacondas and jaguars and sharks. The average giant otter can get to around 6 feet long. That's over double the size of the North American river otter. Also known as the river wolf, their size and speed help them to compete for fish, and they have no fear catching piranhas like popcorn. Funnily enough, National Geographic reports that these otters also like to tease wildlife videographers and then swim away laughing. And just be warned, an entire family of giant river otters is more than capable of killing a caiman. So don't go trying to pet one on your next Amazonian river cruise. While they are not known for attacking people, they will bite and fight by smacking with their tails, so you have been warned. Unfortunately, giant river otters were placed in the endangered category on the IUCN Red List in June of 2014 because they are often hunted for their pelts. Once again, the most dangerous thing out there is us. Thanks for watching! Which of these river creatures did you think was the most terrifying? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you soon! Bye!